solving a problem using the test for similar triangles, side, angle, side. Here is the problem. In the diagram, the diagonals of a quadrilateral that is C, D, E, F intersect at T. E, F is equal to nine, D, C is equal to 18, E, T is equal to seven, T, C is equal to 10, T, D is equal to 14. Prove with reasons that angle D, F, C is equal to angle D, E, C. Let me show you the angle in question. Right, this angle is equal to this angle. So these are the two angles we want to show that they are equal. Now, it is always important for one to try to single out the givens, right? You are given that the diagonals of the quadrilateral C, D, E, F intersecting at T and some measurements of segments, right? The required is to prove the marked angles are equal. Now, let us look at the solution. Obviously, as our starting point, we are guided by the givens. So the given measures of different segments suggest proportion, right? So think in terms of similar triangles, that is corresponding angles are equal. Meaning once we establish two triangles where those two angles are contained uh, similar, then you can then conclude that corresponding angles are equal. And remember, I've said similar triangles, you know that all congruent triangles are similar, right? In any quadrilateral, we need to note that the diagonals generate eight triangles. So please make sure you can count them and there are eight in that quad that you are given. Right, the diagonals intersect to form two pairs of vertically opposite angles. Right, the two pairs of vertically opposite angles, the first pair is this one. They are vertically opposite. The other pair is this one, vertically opposite. And what does that mean? Two pairs of triangles with one pair of corresponding angles equal are formed, right? Let me try to show the actual triangles that I'm saying. Right, we have this triangle, right? The other one corresponding to that. Should be this triangle. So those two triangles as they are drawn, right? They have one pair of corresponding angles. That is the vertically opposite, the one marked in red, right? Then the other uh, pair to that, if I were to rub all this and then mark the other two, right? The other ones will be this triangle right and this one. Again, you notice that these two triangles as they are formed, they have um, vertically opposite angles or one pair of corresponding angles equal, the one marked in blue, right? So this is very, very important. And always when you come across a quadrilateral and their diagonals drawn, 
you should know there are two pairs of triangles with one pair of corresponding angles equal. And obviously they come from the intersection of those two diagonals. So to show that angle DFC is equal to angle DE, um, DEC, that is this angle is equal to this one. What we need to do is we have to pick two triangles containing these two angles and prove that the triangles are similar. Once you have proved that they are similar, then obviously corresponding angles are equal. But be wise, choose triangles with a common angle in order to use the test side angle side. Right? So in such a case, that is the triangle I've chosen. They have a common angle, right? Which is this one. That's the common angle we already know. So once we know that there's a common angle, then it's easy to find the um, pair of corresponding sides that are in a given proportion to then apply side angle side, right? Now, but before we reach there, we need to identify the corresponding sides of the chosen triangles in order to write the correct lettering of the triangles. So here we are, those are the two triangles, but we don't know which side corresponded to which one. We need to make use of what is given, the measurements that are known there. So arrange the sides of triangle ETD. That is, let me mark it so that you see it. This is the triangle I'm referring to, right? So we arrange, we have only seven and 14, seven is less than 14. Then we do the same to the other triangle, which is CFT. Right, we have five and 10. Therefore, that's the arrangement. Then once we have done this, all what it indicates to us is the small measurements will always correspond, right? The bigger measurements will always correspond. We are saying the size of those, those values correspond. That is the essence of arranging the given size. Right, so we then using the um, test side angle side, we show that um, triangle. Now I have arranged this, I've written this first. Then once I have that triangle, then to see what is the corresponding other side of the other triangle and how I should write the lettering, I was simply looking at ET, ET is seven, then seven correspond to five. So the side ET should correspond to TF or FT. Remember that um, to write FT, this is the same as TF because these are segments, it doesn't matter, right? So FT should be occupying the first two letters, then the third one, will simply follow, right? That is important. So I am now having the correct representation of the corresponding size. And this was informed by what I did here, because if I had not done this, I wouldn't know that ET corresponded to FT. At times, yes, you can guess and come with the correct thing, but at times it's not. Should you have a way of how to do this, right? So here is our triangles, which we want to show that they are similar and we are going to use the um, test side angle side. So the first thing is simply to identify the angle, which is this angle correspond to this one. So they are vertically opposite angles, right? Then we go to the next, 
we are now wanting to um, realize the sides that contain that angle. The angle is this one, right? So all what it means is the sides in this triangle, it will be this side and this one, which should have a relationship with the size of the other triangle, which is this one and this one. They contain those two angles that are equal. So if that is the case, if I start by simply identifying ET, whose measure is seven, I'm informed ET is this one. So it should correspond to FT. This is why this is written here. Then you go to the triangle, you identify the measure, which is seven over five, right? That is, we have already established a relationship between this one or this one. We now have the fraction, right? So we wanted the other two. The other two, all what you can do is, again, if you go there, you find it's TD. That is TD, the last two. So it should also correspond to TC, the last two. Then we are simply saying TD over T, C is equal to, then you pick up the measurements and it's 14 over 10, which also give me seven over five when you simplify it. Then from there, we realize that um, from two and three, using the transitive property of equality, right? We are saying if um, this, this is, a ratio. This is a ratio which is giving us the same quantity. So those two ratios must be equal. And by so doing, we are coming up with a proportion. Remember, a proportion is a quality between two ratios, right? And we are using the transitive property of equality that is two and three, right? So with that now, we have um, this number one right, representing the angle and the size that are in a given proportion, meaning we are responding well to what we want to use, right? Then we can conclude that triangle um, ETD is similar to triangle FTC by side angle side similarity test, that is, one and four, right? Once we have um, done that, all what it means is if the two triangles are similar, then we can conclude that corresponding angles are equal, right? So the fact that our angles that we want to check on is this one and this one. And if you don't realize that they are corresponding, you check on the sides opposite the angles, right? Angle in F is opposite this side TC, right? Then angle in E is opposite this side TD. And these sides as they are, they are also related. If you look at the um, TD, which is this and the TC, right? So the fact that they are also related to the side, that means the angles that they are opposite to, they are also corresponding, right? This is also important to remember the relationship between the sides and angles of a triangle. This is what matters, right? Therefore, we can conclude that triangle D FC, which is this one, is equal to DEC, corresponding angles equal because we have shown that the two triangles are similar and the proof ends here.